Sauce my noona with Trudy. As the French say, la petite mort. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Random Viral Tube. For his day-to-day -day job, Glenn is yet another computer cog at the Department of Motor Vehicles for Washington, D.C. But he still has a different line of employment as a tracker for Raymond Reddington, presumably utilizing his role at the DMV to obtain the sensitive details required to identify individuals and items. We get to see Glenn at least twice per season. He's a great character and here are some of the best scenes of Glenn on the blacklist. The Front In the front, Reddington employed Glenn to locate Zoe D'Antonio. After wasting 45 minutes standing in line for a meeting with him, Red is disappointed that Glenn has not identified her yet. Glenn argues because he has not been provided a lot to deal with and that he has been depressed because his mother is dying of cancer. Red did not buy it, saying that Glenn had made similar excuses, such as that his brother-in-law had legionnaire's disease, and that his house had been flooded and that he had left. Later in the show, Glenn called Red and told him that he had found Zoe. When Red meets with Glenn to receive the information, he arranges for a new vending machine to be installed in the DMV waiting area. Soft, warm, blonde, and willing. Willing. Tell Trudy you have to cancel. The Canyon Family Reddington hired Glenn to search the safe in St. Petersburg that Alan Fitch had told him about shortly before he died. After tracking down the building, Glenn asked to come with him for a search, inventing a story that he has never been out of the country since his childhood. Vacations have always been within driving range. Reddington trusts and supports him and also points out that Glenn was originally born in Scotland. Following a trip to St. Petersburg, during which Glenn threatened the flight attendant, Reddington, Dem, and he were looking for a secure flat. When Reddington expresses his doubts about the location, Glenn explains that he went through Fitch's financial records and found that apartment 221 belonged to him. Reddington pointed out that he brought them to apartment 212. When they search the right apartment, Reddington finds a wall safe containing a business card. The nooner at the old colony end. Vasilia Patinka, former KGB. I need you to find her. Eli Matchett. Sensing something of Dem's disappearance, Red calls Glenn to investigate what had happened to him. At first, Glenn, who plays Tedris on his computer, does not answer the phone. When he is, he pretends to have been interviewed by the FBI and to have given up Reddington only to screw with him before realizing that he was joking. Accepting the assignment, he traces Dem's last known location to a restaurant and is able to distract a host who works there long enough to steal a video recorder. Glenn investigates the recorder in his office and is alarmed. He's calling Red to let him know that they have a problem. A man I trust. A man with whom I share a history. A man with whom... Liz gets Red arrested. She needed the truth in her head. There needed to be some way to go about things though. Since Reddington has been a wanted guy and roaming free for years, a call to the police is what brought him down. Reddington has come face to face with the officers before and none, so what made that so special? From a simple arrest to a lethal injection, it all seems strange. Liz went too far to try to find answers and it almost cost her the man she calls her father. Was that a moment of betrayal? Yes. And the fact that Reddington has forgiven her for the transgression reveals exactly why that moment is so surprising. Glenn is a good friend to Red and has been described as the most loyal and trustable man to Red. Upon hearing this news, he is seen to be devastated. Tom and Liz's Wedding What was meant to be special day has become a nightmare for Liz and Tom. With this being their second marriage, Liz did not want Reddington anywhere. However, Mr. Solomon had a plan to put an end to all this, except Red is always ready to protect her and Tom. 
What follows is one of the best gunfights to date on the blacklist. With Liz coming forward as Marsha Rostowa, she was placed on a hit list of sorts. With Mr. Solomon and his staff arriving, Reddington featured in one of the best scenes of the season. He joined the church with a shotgun right after Harold offered his marriage blessings. Despite fear on everyone's hands, Reddington and Mr. Solomon set the scene for an exciting battle. Shooting ensues in Lizzie's and Tom's wedding, and unlike the other police officers, Glenn actually prefers to hide than step into the action. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.